Hi, I'm Michael Pfeiffer, metallurgical engineer and part-time alchemist. I'm going to turn this bar of lead to gold. Pass the bar through the special box, and now I have a bar of gold. Okay, I really didn't turn lead to gold. If I can do that, I'd be making gold all day long and wouldn't be making videos like this. What I actually do is work with companies to help them with metal problems and fix them and turn them to gold. And I'm going to have a short presentation to show you how. This presentation is Leveraging Metals Engineering, Turning Lead to Gold. A little bit about me, I have 25 years experience helping company, companies with metallurgy and metals engineering. I help them with alloy selection for product design, helping with manufacturing process development, quality improvement, and failure analysis and root cause analysis. I also teach metallurgy and metals engineering to design, quality, and manufacturing engineers. I have a bachelor's and master's in metallurgical engineering and a PhD in material science and engineering. What I want to discuss is an approach for how VPs of engineering, COOs, and heads of quality at design and manufacturing companies can quickly find solutions to everyday reliability and quality problems. The approach results in lower costs, improved quality, and improved productivity. It effectively turns lead to gold. This applies to all companies whose products contain metal components. What I'll discuss applies to all metal materials, but I'm a metallurgist, so I'll focus on metals. For product design and manufacturing, there's uncertainty associated with high costs, delays, and lost productivity. And this uncertainty is like lead. It's not worth much, and it weighs you down. High costs come from expensive components and supplier and manufacturing quality problems. Delays occur when products don't launch on time because of reliability problems, and when shipments are delayed because of supplier and manufacturing quality problems. And productivity is lost when engineers try to solve quality and reliability problems using the wrong approach and with inadequate training. The uncertainty stems from not knowing the source of the problems and how they can be reduced. And solutions to these problems is gold. Solutions to turn losses into gains. Solutions to the problems can be found through better component design and by using a rigorous engineering process for solving reliability and quality problems. The benefits are decisions based on real data, not intuition, guessing, and opinions, lower costs associated with, with fixing quality and product problems, meeting product deadlines, quickly fixing reliability and quality problems, and more confidence and productivity and less stress. So why does the uncertainty persist? One big reason is a critical piece of engineering expertise is missing from many engineering teams, metals engineering. The design, manufacturing, and quality engineers we've worked with are good engineers, but the reality is most haven't had much metallurgy training and experience, and they are unfamiliar with the tools used to analyze metals. Because of this knowledge gap, when faced with problems involving metals, engineers re rely on intuition, guessing, basic handbook data, and bits and pieces of information picked up from other engineers and the internet. The result is uncertainty and lingering problems and wasted time. This situation is unnecessary. Because of the missing piece, a common process when quality and reliability problems occur is for engineering teams to meet to brainstorm the root cause. This is not a productive use of time. There's not enough data and people are just guessing. The result is continued uncertainty and lingering problems. The process that should be used if you want to reduce the uncertainty and be more productive is failure analysis. It's a critical part of the root cause analysis process when components fail during use and testing and with supplier and manufacturing quality problems. It's difficult to determine the root cause without failure analysis data. Unfortunately, many organizations try to do that, and the result is lingering problems, more uncertainty, additional costs, and product delays. The failure analysis process is straightforward. First, collect the samples and background information. Next, perform the, the analyses, which has three steps. The first step is to evaluate the samples. There are several commonly used metallurgical analysis techniques. A scanning electron microscope is used to examine a sample surface for features related to fractures and for analysis of the elemental surface chemistry for corrosion. It's also used for other purposes. Metallography is performed to determine whether the metal has the correct microstructure. Composition analysis is used to determine whether the alloy is correct and if it's the appropriate alloy for the application. And tensile and hardness testing are used to determine whether the mechanical properties meet specifications. 
After the analyses are complete, the next steps are to analyze the data and determine the metallurgical cause of the problem, which points to the area of the root cause. Then the final step is to identify the root cause of the problem based on the information from the failure analysis. So you can see that it is not magic or alchemy, but it does require you following this rigorous process. This shows our six-step failure analysis process. We always use this process with all clients. The first step is to meet with the client to review the problem, collect background information, and discuss the project scope and cost. Then we identify the approach that we'll use, provide a quote, then perform the analyses, then review the results with the client to discuss the analysis finding and the metallurgical reason for the failure, and discuss possible root causes and the next steps. And finally, we provide a report. So what we're also providing is metallurgical engineering expertise combined with a lot of experience with, with product design and manufacturing. And we also provide the speed needed to get the information you need quickly. And we also become part of your engineering team. We're not just a black box where we go off and do stuff and just hand you a report. We work with you to help you get the solutions to your problems. So you can see that this process is not alchemy, it's not magic. It's just the application of metal science and engineering to go from uncertainty to having solutions. If you're interested in learning more, click this link to sign up for a short webinar where, you'll, where you will learn more about failure analysis. Or email me if you need help now. Thanks for watching.